employees. In WA5 MLM, I do have your email, Chris Cotter, KD5HIY, and, and Greg, uh, KE9SU, you and I are putting that together this week. You will hear back from us. And Jason, anytime you need a quick uh, replacement for the net, just let me know. I don't travel very much anymore, so that would probably be the best way to help you. Uh, KC5HWB, back to you, W5HB. <laughs> And I'm recording the Wednesday night net right now on DMR and I'm coming from Dallas, okay, Texas. Okay, Steve, thanks again for running the net last week. Yeah, it's, it's, it's challenging, especially with all the stations coming in uh, all uh, really hard and heavy and fast and like they do. So, But uh, but it is enjoyable as well. So thanks for running the net. And I'll probably take you up on that uh, one of these days if I need another net control. So, all right, let me go ahead and just open it up to everybody. This is KC5HWB with the Texas Statewide DMR Net. Any station wishing to check in, please come with your call sign, your name, and your city of location. KG5IHF, uh, Allen, Texas. This is Jeff. And you'll notice some of them come up as numbers. Hotel, India, Yankee, Chris, and Bedford. While others come up. Uh, with their call sign. Uh, this is just a test November technical Charlie aspect Fires, of DMR Romeo, radio. In College Station, no traffic. W5, ICF, Tim, Carolina, no traffic. Everything. No relations, Tim, Derek Wiley, no comment. No comment. Sierra 5, Sierra, Juliet, Papa. Uh, N5, GQB, Sly and Power Station. No traffic. And then we wait for you, Sam, David Wally. No comment. November 0. <laughs> With no traffic. Bad internet connection. <laughs> Alpha Charlie 9. Kilo Victor. Romy Mobile Army. Kilo Foxtrot. Oh, I believe I'm Bill Dallas, Texas. November 5. Romeo India Victor. Tom and Clyde. Kilo Gulf 5. Echo, India, Uniform, David, Downtown Dallas, no traffic. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see here. No, okay. I think I got. I think I got everybody. I thought I missed um, <clears throat> ZBO Bill. I see you tried a couple times, but I did. I did get you in there that last time. I, I heard your audio that last time. So let me acknowledge. Um, of course, we got W five HK Steve. I got you on the list. I got KG five HS. If I got your call sign right, Jeff and Alan. Uh, I'll come back to you in a second because you didn't say no traffic, so I will call on you here in a minute. KD5HIY Chris, uh, NC5R Robert with no traffic, W5ICF Tim and Pearland no traffic. Thank you for uh, the use of the t uh, repeater down there, Tim. Uh, let me acknowledge W8OV Dave with no traffic, K5SJP Sam. Sam, you weren't really into the repeater very strong, but I got you in there. Uh, N5 GQB Fly, W84 ECM Dave, N0 IIL, got you with no traffic. AC9 KB Romy, got you. K5 ZBL Bill, N5 RIV Tom, and KG5 EIU David with no traffic. Thank you for those check ins. <clears throat> if I missed you, um, then you might have doubled with someone, uh, and you're welcome to try again. So this is KC5 HWB with the Texas Statewide Net. Uh, we'll take another round of check-ins. Any station wishing to check-in, please come with your call sign, your name, and your location. Uh, Alpha Bravo 5, X-ray Sierra, Jim and Hurst, no traffic. Whiskey 
25 Delta Tango Bravo, Midland, Texas, no traffic. Number five, Yankee Echo Yankee Martin Kilgo, no traffic. K9 SUU, Keller, no traffic. Kilo Foxtrot 5, Kilo Hotel Sierra, Michael and Corsicana, no traffic. KC0, Zulu Foxtrot Charlie, Dallas, no traffic. And Texas, no traffic. KG5, MLV, John and Austin, no traffic. And I'll explain that uh, call sign appearing okay, or not appearing <clears throat> as soon as uh, the net no is traffic. over. Uh, w 5 GTB from Midland with no traffic. I didn't get your name, sir, but uh, thank you for checking in. I got you in there. In 5 yuy Mark with no traffic. KA9SU Greg with no traffic. KF5KHS Michael, no traffic. KC0ZFC with no traffic. W5 SRG start. All right, well, we're not listening to anything. I'm actually going out on uh, radio uh, via the uh, and receiving via radio on the CS800. DMR radio. It's actually going out over using my uh, Comic GP9 to the repeater in Dallas, Texas, about 40, 45 miles away. Now, there could be people on the net actually coming in by uh, internet connection, and uh, the internet might get dropped from time to time. So, uh, if they're doing it that way, then uh, you know it becomes like echo, more like echo link than uh, regular uh, ham radio. But in my case, I'm I'm hearing uh, via radio and transmitting via radio. So that repeater on uh, low power, which I've got it running on low power, is covering uh, from 35 on uh, 35W uh, for about probably 50, 55 miles. Um, so it's doing an excellent job. Um, haven't tested uh, west, east or west on 20 yet. That's kind of my might try to do that later. But um, really good repeater down there, um, and it's got Brandmeister Texas uh, full time on time slot line, and it's got uh, this talk group uh, full time on time slot two. It's got several others too. Go to uh, dmrtexas.net for a listing of full listing of time slot talk group assignments for that repeater and for the rest of our repeaters down here. So, just a little side note there, Michael. When you checked in KF5KHS, I remembered that because <laughs> I talked to Michael pretty much the whole way. And then that Cedar Park machine. Once I got on 130 and started going south, uh, I, I was on that road for gosh 40, 50 miles, something like that. I was into that Cedar Park machine the entire trip down that. Uh, 130 toll road. So that Cedar Park machine has excellent coverage down there as well. So little side note there, just uh, about some repeaters in the area. So I got everybody, but I'm going to take one last quick round of check-ins and I've got two, three, I, it looks like I got four stations with traffic. 
So I will come back to you guys shortly. Any other station wishing to check in, please come now. Yeah, he's low power. Risky, all right. <laughs> Risky Sierra 5, Lima, Dawn, and Richardson, nothing. And you can see why I always tell you to transmit at least medium power. You want to make sure you get into the repeater uh, with full quieting. And you're not being intermittent or dropping out. Kilo Fox it's kind of silly. Delta, Juliet, Delta, Buddy, and Carla. No traffic. It's kind of silly to transmit low power, you know, and brag about it. Okay, um... Buddy in Garland, that last station to check in, I missed your call sign. If you would come back uh, one more time with that call sign, please. It's KF5LJV, uh, Kilo, Foxtrot 5, Lemma, Juliet, Delta. Okay, good deal. I got it that time. Thank you for checking in. Welcome to DMR. Looks like you've got a new subscriber ID that's not showing up yet on the NetWatch. Um, I mean, the, the ID is there, but it doesn't come across with your call sign yet. And it takes some time after you get that ID assigned to you for that to happen. So you can always tell when someone has a new ID. Good to have you on the net. Good to have you on DMR. Uh, stop back in any time. Thank you for checking in. Let's see. That time I got... Where did I start here? KF5EHZ, Jerry, Louisville, no traffic. Thank you for checking in. WS5L, Dawn, and Richardson with no traffic. Thank you for checking in. And uh, DTB, where are you? W5DTB in Midland. Um, yeah, I got you on that last round of check-ins, and I acknowledge you. I didn't get your name either time, but you said you were in Midland, and I did get you on the list, so thank you for checking in. And then, of course, KF5LJD, I got you too. So let's go back for a check-in, for comments real quick. We only have about four stations, and then I will take another round of check-ins after we're done. So um, KG5HS Jeff, I didn't have you down. There's no traffic, so if you have anything to, for the net tonight, please come down. Yeah, this is Jeff. It's uh, Kilo Golf 5 India Hotel Foxtrot, and uh, no traffic. Okay, Jeff, I, I thought I heard that wrong, but I couldn't tell if I did or not. I wrote it down like, a, like I heard. Anyway, when this little round is done, I'll uh, get off of here and kind of give you a few comments to kind of end the video. So hang on a second and listen. And what traffic do you bring? Well, good news in the Hope everybody's had a uh, uh, good, a good week. Uh, first off, let me start by saying, uh, Martin, WA5, you know, and I do apologize for not getting back with you. Uh, I do have your email right here, but, uh, uh, the other day, just for all the planning we were doing really kind of made me lose track of time. So I will get in contact with you, uh, I'll try to get a hold of you tonight. Um, all right, so we we're hopefully going to be doing, uh, the, the round table that we talked about last week. Uh, possibly this Sunday, if we can get everything uh, lined up and, and uh, everything finalized. So uh, uh, anybody that has uh, you know, sent an email is interested, uh, I will get a hold of you and uh, we'll let you know uh, how to get in on it. So uh, that is that is something that we're still pushing for. Uh, I think it's going to be a good time. Um, it'll be interesting just to, just to see what kind of... Uh, really kind of get together we can we can put together so um if it's able to be uh recorded hopefully we can do that also so looking forward to it uh anybody that got in contact with me um uh thank you and i'll get i'll get back with you uh if you're interested in around and in getting in on the round table um the texas excuse me dmrtexas.net website just click over there on the uh uh contact page and send me an email um and that'll go to 
basically everybody that uh, that's uh, involved. So I think that's all I have right now. Um, uh, thank you for doing this, and send your message to five eight zero one. Okay, Chris. Sounds good. Thanks for that update. Um, yeah. Um, I know we had that call the couple weeks ago. I've been real busy. I've been kind of up to my neck in all kinds of different stuff right now. But uh, I might have missed an email or maybe a meeting if y'all had another one about that uh, training session. And but uh, yeah, I'm I'm interested in recording that for obvious reasons. So uh, you know, make a note of that or something. We will uh, we will get that done. I'll follow up with you later on that. Okay, let's see. Next on the list, K five ZBO. Good evening, Bill. Uh, what traffic do you bring tonight, sir? Well, good evening, Jason, and everyone on that K five ZBO here. Well, uh, Jason, uh, sorry we missed you on Field Day, uh, but uh, I will say that uh, we had a lot of fun out there, and uh, so a lot of people showed up. So it was kind of a good thing. And, you know, it did rain, but uh, look, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, pass that one off as uh, hey, we did it. And then uh, got the uh, MV2017 and been playing around with it and uh, been uh, kind of amazed that uh, I've actually got uh, VHF UHF on the same uh, the same uh, uh, band, I guess, our channel selection, or channel A, channel B kind of thing. So I've been playing around with that and uh, playing around with uh well, how to program this thing because it's so versatile now that uh, that uh, it's uh, kind of amazing. So, uh, so I've yeah, just been trying to trying to contemplate on how to how to really program this thing to make it uh, make it really sing the way that I really want it to. So, other than that, um, that's about it. So I'll send it back to that care fine and send you. Okay, Bill. Thanks for checking in. Yeah, sorry I missed you on field day. I think that was my mistake. I didn't uh, follow up with you on that to get that out. I thought it was in that email that wasn't. So uh, we'll probably catch you guys next year. And uh, uh, let me know. Send me an email uh, offline later on. Let me know the next time y'all are doing a uh, Arden uh, Mesh Networking Field Day also, or whatever you call it, not field day, but you know what I mean. So interested to get more on that too. So thanks for checking in tonight. <clears throat> um, N5RAB, good evening, Tom. I don't have you down as no traffic, so if you have any comments, please come down. Okay, he might have uh, forgot to say no traffic, or maybe I just didn't write it down correctly. So, either way, we will move on. Uh, that's the bottom of the list as far as comments go. This is KC5HWB on the Texas Statewide DMR Net, our weekly net that starts at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm going to take another round of check-ins now. Any station wishing to check in, please come with your call sign, your name, and your city of location. All right. So with that uh, said, let me kind of turn the volume down a little bit. Kind of show you, <clears throat> we're on, uh, kind of works a little bit different than a, than a normal radio. There are regional connections along with, uh, if you think of it this way, uh, of course, there are certain repeaters available, so let me kind of walk you through some of those right now. So, we could go to Dallas Metro. These buttons kind of scroll through what's been programmed into this radio. <clears throat> we go to Dallas Metro, but the net is actually on uh, Texas statewide. So, if I turn the volume up now.
You can see. Okay. Right. Let me, uh, let's see. First off, Jay. All right. So you can see if I get over on Texas statewide, then I'm receiving this net. <clears throat> That's because they've networked various uh, machines together across the state into a group. And that group is called Texas Statewide. <clears throat> and then I can, there's also a Dallas Cactus repeater and a Dallas repeater and a, and a Worldwide repeater and Simplex and Simplex 2 and Simplex 3 and 4. And you can even program in analog repeaters. This happens to be the Rockwall repeater. And uh, here we are back at Dallas Metro again. So you can go from uh, a local repeater, which Dallas Metro would be a local repeater. It's got a very wide coverage. Over to uh, uh, regional Texas statewide. They do have a regional uh, group set up, but I don't have those programmed in. I do have uh, <clears throat> North America programmed in and worldwide programmed in. Uh, so that gives me plenty of options, you know, if I want to listen for what's going on with DMR radio. I still have to say, uh, as I said in a previous video. Let me get this camera back up where you can see me and I hope I don't get you dizzy. Hold on. Hold on a second and I'll get it positioned back up. All right. Let's see what we've got here. All right. There we go. Let's see if you're back over here. And oh yeah, I'm back on the screen again. So anyway, as I reported, it's been a year ago now, I've still been listening for activity. I listen from time to time on DMR. Uh, there's some local activity going on, and there is some a little activity on North America and worldwide, but in my opinion, it still does not compare to what you'll find on the D-Star repeaters. Uh, D-Star has much more activity uh, than DMR. Uh, it's just not caught up to it. Uh, I think one of the reasons for that is a whole bunch of hams stepped out there and bought one of those little handy talkies like the one on the left hand side over here. That's a DMR radio. But if you don't carry it around town and you don't have various different repeaters like uh, Jason was uh, talking about, you know, he had a bunch of different repeaters in there and he could drive down the road and just switch as he went down the road. Well, most hams haven't done that. And so they only have a, a bare minimum of uh, repeaters in there. And the range on those things, as you know, is not very far. And it's just not useful to use one of those instead of one of these mobiles like I've got on the desk here. That's got 45 watts. I could mount that in my car and program in a bunch of repeaters, and it would be similar to what you'd find in analog repeaters. Uh, probably a little more activity is I could reach those repeaters. <clears throat> Where I'm located at here, there's very few of them I can reach. Just so happens the Dallas repeater has a great antenna on top of one of those big buildings and uh, it's very easy to hit uh, even from out here in Quinlan, Texas. It's got to be 45 miles from that repeater, maybe 50 miles. So anyway, I'm still torn on uh, the value of DMR. Yeah, it's another way of operating. Uh, interesting if it's kind of gimmick, gimmick, gimmickry, gimmickry, you know, uh, geeky. Uh, 
something different to do and program and all that stuff makes it a little interesting, but uh, I really haven't found it to be highly useful. And I've also thought several times about maybe putting this up for sale and uh, just going and get me a crossband repeat uh, dual band to kind of go along with the 7000 that's on the desk there and give me a little more capability. I could sit in the backyard and talk on my little handy talkie and it would go out through the big radio. So I've thought about that, but I haven't done it yet. So anyway, I'm mixed opinion on DMR, uh, even after a year or so of uh, fooling around with it. I did say I was going to tell you about why some of the call signs showed up. It takes them a good while after you've registered uh, with the DMR Mark Network to actually update it to where your call sign shows up. Every one of these radios has a unique ID number. And that's what you were seeing you were seeing on the screen there was that unique ID number that's basically uh, given to you by uh, when you register. So uh, uh, that's what's showing. They hadn't programmed, you know, the, the name or the call. It works sort of like a cell phone. You know, when you program a phone number into a cell phone, all it'll show is the phone number until you put a name in there, you know, like uh, Pete or Harry or Jane or something. You put the name in there and then the name shows up instead of the phone number. Well, it works similar. Uh, once they put in that call sign, then it starts showing up. You can go out there and download uh, these big lists of uh, call signs and load them into the radio and kind of jump start it ahead of what the uh, network is doing. And you would have them the call sign showing on your screen before they actually put it out, but really not necessary to do that. Eventually, uh, someone that's gotten into it two or three weeks ago, eventually their call sign will show up on everybody else's radio. So just kind of got to wait for the network administrators to do their work. Anyway, with that said, as I usually do, uh, wanted to give you just a little touch of DMR radio today and uh, this net uh, in Dallas uh, if you're interested comes on Texas statewide uh, every Wednesday evening at 730 so uh, if you've just gotten into DMR and you're not hearing anybody just put on your calendar Wednesday night at 730 and Jump on uh, Texas statewide and you'll be able to hear everybody checking in and a few comments. So with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies of 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See you all later. Everybody be good.